What's up, y'all? It's Mary and Ama, and we are reviewing Ready to Love. And let me tell y'all, the exes are in the mix, yes. and they don't make a lick of sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I know. We have to really think of that. Why? It's all about ready they, to let they do this mess. No, know? why am I, when I get into a new relationship, why am I going to sit down with my ex and say, who I probably have bad history with, tell me who I should be with? <laughs> yes. Give them yes. advice on why, what's wrong with me. Yeah. Just Where do they do that at? Where do they do that at? They do that right too. Well, you know, Tommy, y'all know how I feel about Tommy. <laughs> And you know the track <sighs> record of Ready to Love um, really is not that successful. No, no. Um, this is could be one of the reasons why. Bringing the ex. Yeah. And so, what if you've had a really toxic relationship with your ex? Then what? I know. And, and the person is an I, ex for a reason, and not yeah. everybody um, is talking and you know friends. And with what their if ex. you only had one ex in your life? <laughs> Mm. You know, I guess they're thinking people have had many exes, so you could choose one that you're the least okay, um, don't you. mad at. That's you know? true, but once, what if you've had just one and it ended badly? Yeah. Then what do you do? It, it really doesn't make sense. Me, personally, mm. if my ex calls me and says, oh, I'm trying to date this new girl, can you please come on the show? I will hang up so fast. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even talking to you. That is I'm he, like, what the look, hell did you say to that, me? That is if he still even has your number. Hello? I change my number quite yeah. often. So, so mm -mm. <sighs> But it's, I was surprised that Camille was so calm when she met this ex. You know what this that's called? What? Fake. Mm. <laughs> it's called being fake. Because right. as soon as she got down to the step, she's like, so what's she leaving? Oh, yes, that's true. She ain't got nothing else to do. I forgot about that. <laughs> she was trying to maintain her crazy, but even the friend was sitting there like, I can hear you, Apple. Yeah. I can hear you. But, you know, I don't hold it against her that she has been um, engaged three times. I really don't. I mean, now, if she had been married three times, then that's an issue. Well, but engaged three times, I'm not going to hold that against i rather she break off an engagement then she gets married, have kids, and then she breaks up. Well, she has a son. And then she starts all over again. I didn't know that she had a child. She has a son. Okay. Um, she was supposed to get married to the guy. It didn't happen. Mm. But she has a son, yes. I did not even know that. Does Cornelius have children? I don't think so. Okay. Mm. So he's going to have to play stepdaddy. Okay. Obviously, um, he's ready for that. I don't know. Didn't Phil have... Aisha, Aisha. that's who's missing from Phil's... Meeting oh. Aisha because he had three of them. I'm shocked Aisha's not there. I am. Aisha surprised. was really feeling Phil. I think that's the least he's feeling. Did they ask him? I'm shocked because Aisha was there crying. She opened up to him. I know, but remember we both stuff. said that he was not feeling he Aisha was, like, was oh. that. Yeah. I mean she was very comforting. He was very friendly. He you know, was really nurturing, but Maybe on a friend level. Yeah, I did not feel that. So maybe he just called, contacted Tita and what's her name? Shiloh. Because mm -hmm. those are the two. But I don't think he's feeling Tisa like that. Tisa, I would have thought that Tisa's the last person he's feeling. Yeah, so. Anyway, it's on. Live reaction. Uh, yes. <laughs> Tisa's very upset. This is good, but it's going to be enjoyable. I was looking forward to talking to her, but it was like Phil, Shiloh, and me, and then the ex was across from us. What should have happened was Shiloh should have been to his left, and I should have been to his right. It definitely wasn't indicative of how their relationship generally is. And I did not like that. So I guess we can start. Oh, uh, maybe that should let you like know he's not breaker. feeling you know, like that, Tisa. Deal breaker, deal breaker, pet peeves. Someone who's not affectionate. I'm so lovey-dovey. Yeah, that should be so lovely. Kisses, all the, all the affection. I okay. need, like, and then why are you talking about the ex? Why are you telling the ex that you want to be feeling all of me? Oh. And over talking, I definitely felt some type of way. They're a beautiful lady. You talk about all these great things. So what's a bad trait? Like, what, what would somebody say about you that might be a negative trait? You know? I'm probably a little, like, uptight. And maybe, like, not go with the flow as much. Like, I'm a Taurus. I'm an earth sign. I, like, I'm a meal prep. I'm more of a, like, calculated, strategic person. Mm -hmm. Got you. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not 
I'm ready to talk to you about those things. I'm, Ooh, I'm done with it. This is like, the first time I actually felt this. He wasn't as I'm not ready to talk to you normal. about my past relationship. How should y'all not get that Tisa's not somebody who Ooh, I would yeah. consider her an introvert? <laughs> what are Phil's red flags? Whoa. Um, some things communication wise can be a little bit better. He can be a little bit more expressive. He needs that. He needs that. Yeah, I think Debrina did not understand the assignment. She's out here trying to make new girlfriends. The assignment was to come in and grill these women so I can get some information. I want to say thank you guys for coming. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Shiloh hasn't been my strongest connection to this point. I think I did. And Sia has this intensity about her that isn't made for everybody. So I don't know what to do. You know what? Okay, so Tisia has. So he dismissed them quite quick, quick. He did. He as did. soon as she started talking about red flags, he's like, "Yeah, all right, time to go," which I thought was a little bit of a red flag. Yeah, you should um, let the women talk it out. You always look wonderful. Take a seat. Okay, so here we are. We are with. He is Frank. checking her out. The way he looked her up and down, she looked him up and down. It looked like they still be in the bedroom, honey. <laughs> Both of these ladies are women that I can see myself being with for a lifetime. So I'm hoping I get some information to see Aaliyah about Sydney and Nadine to help All right, Frank. All right, let's just see. That I have to make so two Frank of them. has brought Hi. his ex. Come on over here. Hey. Oh, this is Mumin. <laughs> you can oh. get Mumin is here. Oh, I appreciate that. So. Doing all this? I'm sorry. Okay, Frank also got uh, Sydney. Honestly, I kind of was surprised that she was there to meet the ex as well. But it's all good. I feel secure about what we have. I'm fine. Thank you. Who sits in kikis and ha ha with the ex with two new women trying to date? I was surprised to see Frank's ex, but I was actually a little excited because I had the opportunity to grill. Oh, uh, Sydney has written questions on her phone. Okay, so his communication, how is he with that? Um, over texting? Two stars. In person? Five stars. Who's the first to reconcile when you have a disagreement? I'd say it's mutual. What type of woman do you think that he needs? Oh, that's a great question. Does he need? A woman. I mean, I'm like, what's next? I mean, damn, don't you know enough about me? You got a whole list of questions? Well, she don't know you. Remove your focus from him to the next person. Not getting attention. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I like attention. Same. I want attention. You have a love language. Yeah. 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 Yes. People say it's seven Malia, but I agree with that. Massage or fire sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are they friends? Okay. Him and Sydney do have a lot of chemistry. I can't deny that. <laughs> he got up to wipe his sweat. That was very cute. What we share, I was in my head like. Oh, and then she sat to next to him. Do you see Sydney? She sat across from him so they could look her in the eye. I know, but remember she was on the other side. And then she decided to move. Sydney does not play, okay? I don't come from a super duper close family, so I'm excited about starting my own. So I definitely want children. It's marriage first, when it's the right time for both of us. And then I definitely want to have, God willing, one child or or more. Do you have an ideal time? I'm not going to push it. When a man is ready to settle down with a woman, he's going to make the next step. I think at this age, you kind of just know. So I'm definitely thinking within like a year or two, you kind of should know if this is somebody who you want to spend the rest of your life with. I do want to ask what your favorite thing is about Frank. I don't have just one thing that's my favorite about him. Like literally, I just cling to him. What did I say the other day? Like I'm the female version of him. Mm. We balance each other. Ooh. So my favorite thing about <laughs> him is Frank is pretty. It just speaks to the kindness. I really love that about him. It's special. Y'all making me feel real good. Like Listen, no when he is, is looking at like Sydney, he is cheesy. Like, uh, and support him in that. I could definitely be. A I think it's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Come on, sister wife. He did not have. 
maybe. I think I did. Yeah. I am Sydney is so playful. She's like, come on, sister wife. So like family values. That's what you want to. You want marriage. You want kids. You want that family. But you're going out with two very different women. That is a fact. I'm worried about you actually truly knowing what you want and knowing what you need. Sydney and Lumine right now are giving How do you me a lot Sydney? <laughs> On one hand, we have Lumine, the woman who is outspoken but also sits back and observes. And then we have the beauty that is Sydney. She operates in the same industry that I do. It's kind of a cool way for us to mesh. But choosing between the two of them, though that's hard, I got to be honest with myself and make the best decision for me. Just got to keep it real. Mm. Oh my God, the reunion's in tomorrow. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Martel with his side here with his suit that's two sizes too small and two colors too bright. <laughs> Martel just gotta stand out anywhere he go. Suit too small, suit too damn bright. And for your age. You look like you're going to Easter Sunday. <laughs> he put out his Sunday's best. Well, we know you can't be up in church the way you be cussing at your woman. Mm. He probably needs church. He probably needs that's where he therapy. needs to go. He needs church and he needs therapy. Maybe twenty four seven. Actually, yeah, that man needs help, and only God can save him. Yeah, and he looks so. Sometimes it's like when you look at his eyes, even when looks he, dead he, inside, he, he just looks like there's such a deep sadness there with him that he really needs to, not even for anybody, but for himself, to be just a decent father later on in life. Just be a decent he human has, being. Yeah, he just needs to really unpack. There's a deep, I always feel like there's some kind of deep sadness in him that still has yet to be unlocked. And, you know, there's something going on there. But um, he needs to figure it out because, you know, he's getting older. Yeah. He's got four children. No, he has what, five now, right? Six, supposedly. Whew. Anywho, let's get into Frank, Sydney. Sydney is a mess. Like, I like her playful energy. I do, because she was like, okay, let's go, sister wife. <laughs> she was even smoking. I was like, girl. She's like, she now you won't be here so for long, funny. but and I'm going to so continue. Funny. It, like, she does it in a way where you cannot but like her. Yeah. You know, like I think even Mumi was like, looked at her kind of admiringly, you know? Yeah. She said, well, you can't help. Like she, she played this, it was so well. She got up and said she had to wipe Frank's brow. And she gets up with her napkin. She wipes her brow as she leans her decollete so he can see, you know, in there. And she leans and wipes his brow. And he is gritted. He's gritted like that. And then she goes and she scoots his girlfriend ex. to the right and sits, his ex-girlfriend, and sits so she can be across from him. All the while, she's doing it with such a smile. Now, that's her femininity. Just, and that's what happens usually the younger the woman, the more feminine they are. And then what happens as we get older, and a lot of times the women have to take on responsibilities in the home that men should have taken on but they were not nowhere to be found and now and all of a sudden you get imbalanced but it's always because I, I always love watching the younger women how they just naturally you know do their thing you know yeah yeah so that was that was actually very cute very good mood and Frank when he looks at her he is cheesy, like from here he to here. He probably feels like a man being around her. Yes, for sure. He feels for admired. Sure. He feels like yes. my woman need me. She like me yes. <laughs> or whatever. Yes. She yes. baby me to an extent. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And he can already see her in his world. Yeah, he said, you know, Sydney is the image of a wife that I will want to come home to or something like that. Ah. Yeah, he said, when I imagine a wife who I would like to come home to, Sydney is that exact image. That's what he said in front of her friends. Wow. Um, 
Feminine you gotta be on a feminine tip, the ladies. Only, Come the on, thing feminine I will movement. Say, the only thing I will say is that she has known him. She never dated him. Mm -hmm. So just like how Jill was Michelle and he ghosted her, I just worry about that. And I hope it is, you know, they're both really feeling each other. Ooh, okay, look at those nails. Is that the girlfriend? Oh, 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 let me see. Volume, sweetie. Oh, who? <laughs> like, okay. Y'all know Cardi B nails who be like this. You, it's like here. Her nails are this long. This is how long this lady nails is, literally. So I set up this day. Well, this ex, my ex to me, Zadi and Shiloh. At this point, both of these ladies I have connections with, and I think she I thought he was feeling Sydney. Blind spots in both of these I'm so confused. Sydney. Everybody is not dating I who I thought they should be. Then. Zadia. When did they get acquainted? Zadia, since the matching mixer, my expectations with bringing Zadia out was to dive a little deep and seeing where she's at. So, okay. Zadia, I invited you out here to meet Stacy. You know, we knew each other for a few years before we decided to date, and then we just departed because we saw ourselves more as friends. And she's out here to give me some insight on what she feels that um, would be the best fit for me. Oh, hey. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Hey, there she is. You. How you doing? She always looks so good. Sabrina, right? Just like very class acts. Very beautiful. I first walked yes. out, I was thinking I'm, you know, about to go see my boo. And it was, you know, my boo and his ex boo. So I was like, hey, Sam, what's up, girl? You know what I'm saying? One of you needs to meet you. We go way back. But my first impression of her, I thought that she has style. She had these really long fingernails. And I'm here for it. Definitely, you're excited physically, you okay. know, and sophisticatedly. Yeah. So it's just getting to that next level of see-through. So I think um, it's just important to, uh, as you're getting to know Walter, to know that he definitely likes the challenge. I wonder what his wife, what his wife looked like. <laughs> no, I'm curious. <laughs> Oh, because of the girls who make him. Yes. Um, well, he probably, he probably, I guess he likes women who dress up because it's why I love makeup and she's pretty. Thank you. Are you going to move in? <laughs> So Zadia did not even move. Zadia has I very masculine in, energy. You know? Because <laughs> she's drinking her drink. Oh. Oh. The destroyers like this. Can I have another drink, please? Ooh. Now she's mm -hmm. drinking so, like an alcoholic at the know. thing. She I need another drink. I need another drink like that. It was swallowed. Tequila. Okay. It's strong. Give me the honest answer. So I don't feel like I need to talk to anyone else to validate who he is. Hey. Oh, Sabrina is pretty much letting the ex know. I don't need to talk to you. Um, like I was already shocked. Bye. The ex was there. Who else don't lock up? Yes, Walter. So you must be a very lucky guy. Sabrina. Two beautiful ladies right here. Yes, um, I am. Yeah, yeah, interrupt, but I actually have a styling gig. Oh! oh! Whatever connections he has with anyone else, it's irrelevant to the connection that he and I have together. Because at the end of the day, we go home together. Daddy know where home is. Oh, okay. She said, Sabrina says, you. Daddy know have where home is. And she says, she has an appointment, though. She has to go. Because what is she going doesn't on? need to follow the rules of the game and um, talk to anybody. Buy toodles. I'm shocked Zadia hasn't done that where yet. Home is. So, <laughs> if I want, my and she was gone. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, who that was very today, masculine. That, that was very that rude. Really working on yeah, that. that part. To me, that said a lot. That if you could date that person back then, and you did, and now you're here, and you've seen that growth, and he's still somebody that you would pursue and date, that to me is a good sign. If there's anything else that you could tell us about Dante in a way that like says, Dante is for you. But also to add to that, a warning shot, like you're a trouble girl. <laughs> so if he's giving you physical affection, he's rubbing your hand, holding you, or you know, something like that, you know that he's feeling you. If he's not doing that, then that may you be. You're a girl. 
You have any children? Yeah, no, dogs have got to show all the affection. Oh, <laughs> what's your answer with children? I know. Yeah. He wants to go. <laughs> oh. How many are you going to talk about? Three. We're going to have a Jackson 5. You can see it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's not gonna work out in? between movement and a okay, bolster. So I don't know having sex again until I get married. So that's the first thing that we can just, you know, knock out. I was just about to say that. That's something that him and I have talked about. Denise asked me the sex question. <laughs> that's important to me in a relationship. I'm a very sexual person. The ex asked her how you're a sexual sex. person. Doesn't mean you have to have sex. <laughs> yeah, if you're so. I do believe that I give off a sensual energy that lets him know that when it's time, everything will be okay. Well, good. I gotta run. I gotta go spend some work. Okay. All right. Everybody's so busy. I know, right? I know, oh, right? Oh, okay. So Zadia also decided to leave. I mean, she was no, more me. Yeah. To go home with. Who would you pick? I would say Shiloh. Really? She didn't ask for all the dirt. Like, she was really looking at the positive, the goodness in you instead of your flaws. That is true. I appreciate that. She was really big. So Dante's ex like Shiloh. Of course she Well, do you Dante like Shiloh because she's not going to, to you know, question you and make sure that Shiloh you're right? Or do you like her because, it, you know, she's not sweating you? So, the thing is, Zadia I don't know. is so, she gets so annoyed very quickly. On. Like she had her straw hanging. She had like, yeah. I mean, I just, I don't know what's going on with Zadia. I was going on with a lot really, of these women. I really actually liked Zadia. I think we so both did. In I liked her with Rah- Raheem. For some reason, ever since that dinner, when Tommy's spirit and she went from everybody, she has been more down to earth, and she's more like, listen, I really want to get to know you for real. I honestly don't think she's going away too much. I think that's tough. But I think she just wants something committed. Like it's not always right. Sabrina, I think oh, she gives me the crazy vibes. Ooh. She okay. gave her what vibe? <laughs> crazy. It right. looks good on your arm, but is she controlling it? I don't know what this girl is talking about. She's so talking about how I don't think movement is really going to press you about marriage. I think she just wants something committed. This girl just told you she's not having sex till marriage. What the hell are you talking about? She's in the ex. Maybe that's why Sabrina, do you waste your time with her? That's right. Yeah. I see with you, Sabrina. Oh, child. But I would have done it. Hot. But the thing is, okay, so if you're going to leave, right, and you're annoyed, I would do it in a very nice, you know, delicate I way. Really I would not go. have been like, oh, my God, she just sat down. I really, oh, excuse me, interrupt yeah. everybody. I have a styling appointment. I know what styling. was all that? Gotta yeah, go. Gotta go. Mm-hmm. As you and then you, before I that, know. you were shady or saying that I know where we stand, so I really don't need validation from anybody saying, I don't know why the hell you here. I don't know why the hell I'm here. <laughs> but I'm going to rectify it right now. Now, okay? Stylish. Up and stylish. And I don't need Joe to validation, Miss Thang. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. So I Look, thought that was. You can stay more mean if you want to, but I am hitting the road. Yeah, my thing is, like, you should have done it a very sleek way. Yeah, you know, yeah. where they would be confused. Was she upset? No, I don't think she was upset. Yeah. Like, you have to do it in a way where you yeah. confuse people. Yeah. Like, what you did is so... very condescending. Yeah, very sarcastic. That's why she said she gave yeah. um her crazy vibes. Yeah. Now, she was right about that. She was wrong about movement. Anyone that tells you she's not having sex till marriage, she's very serious. Yeah, she, okay? she really wasn't going to be doing that. And then also my thing with Walter. It's not going to work. Why the hell is movement there? Where was the other girl that you was feeling? I know. I'm trying to think who else. Wasn't it Zadia? I thought it was Zadia. I thought it was Zadia. It was Zadia and Sabrina. That's what I thought. Everybody's mixed up with everybody else's people. I know. Anyway. It just has thrown me for a loop. It might be this with Walter. Like, everybody's talking about, oh, I'm a sexual person. I'm a sexual this. I'm a sexual that. I don't know. Everybody I is a sexual person. God made us all to have sex. Okay, yes. it's not. Oh my God, I'm a sexual person. I think it's just a BS excuse to go and have sex with whoever you want to. You, I need to have sex with you before I can put a ring on it. Yeah. We're going to have sex anyway, so why do you need to try it out? Are you really going to break up with me if the sex is bad? You then that means that we shouldn't have been together in the first place. Because if you love somebody, mm-hmm. and yes, maybe the sex is bad, maybe it doesn't want to kiss. But over time, you guys will learn how to do all that stuff. Exactly. Love and marriage is not based off of sex. Yes, it is important. I do agree that, you know, if 
I mean, some people, anyway, you pray about those things. If you don't want somebody with a small weenie, you know, you pray to God, don't give me that, you know? <laughs> Wait. And just, you pray about those things or whatever, but you don't need to try out everything, and you don't have to have sex with everybody because you're a sexual person. You know what is so it's, interesting for me when I hear people, especially men, say, I'm a sexual person. You may be sexual, but I wonder, the women that you're with, do they have an orgasm every time? Probably not. With your, I'm a sexual person. Because if you're a sexual if person, that means that you have a lack of woman. discipline. That's what I believe. Because yeah. if you're like, I'm a sexual person, I just have to, that means that yeah, you I probably are not, the, you're not disciplined enough to, you know, hold off until just something as big yourself, as marriage. Yeah. You can't control that. So if you can't control yeah. that, how can you control holding off from, you yeah. know, you know, going out or whatever yeah. and making sure your woman orgasms. Because one, it takes yeah. women a much longer time for them to orgasm than it does for a man. Yes. And if you're here talking about you're a sexual person, you have to have sex before marriage. And that means to me that you yeah. just can't you control might be yourself. You're selfish lovers. Yeah. Everybody has to please you. Yes, but you don't do much of the pleasing. And that's why you can open your mouth and say I'm a sexual person. Because yeah. you don't do much of the work. Facts. You just get yours and hit the road. Ooh, it's Raheem. Oh, he is yes. so gorgeous. Who like he has that these person? beautiful eyes. Oh, Camille was the one he wasn't feeling. Okay, all right. Ooh, he has these really nice not, eyes. Yeah, yeah. Basically, see what I'm not seeing because I might okay. be blinded by, you know, maybe some other things. So I'm that ten beautiful women. They are really okay. handsome. She stuck out to me just her energy. She's a fitness trainer, so. Zadia. Oh, Zadia. Stuck out to you because she's a fitness trainer. She got big booty. Who's saying she got big booty? No, she's beautiful. You're not even keeping real. Nah, I appreciate them, but oh, yeah, it's no reason. Check this out, man. What's going on? Oh, Zadia is sick and tired of these damn meetings with the ex. Just look at her. She's already annoyed. How are you? Uh, yeah. Hi. Victoria. Victoria. Yeah, Victoria. 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 Victoria.
I don't. Oh, she's working herself out. I think you can That's tell. That's what I was thinking. Phil did not contact the Sydney girl for yeah. Phil stuff. Yeah. Okay. So just quickly, my thing is, you will be able to tell if a man has money if he pays for a date. If he's not here saying oh fifty fifty, it reminds me of a younger version of Shiloh. Oh, is looking confused. I wonder if that kind of messed up his, you know, like who am I going to be with in the end kind of thing. Yeah, to be fine. Yeah. But who do you like better for Sydney? Phil or Frank? Definitely not Frank. <laughs> you don't I don't like Frank. Frank. Ever since he was rubbing on Aisha. Yeah, and I just don't like his vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Phil, I don't know, Marianne. Sometimes I feel as though Phil is a player. I mean, I don't know if I get those vibes. From him, okay. <sighs> yeah, Frank, I don't know. He just seemed... Although he did say... He, he just seemed like a player, but... He did say he will wait for Mumi, which was surprising to me. He did not push, you know, like, you know, we I have to Frank break yourself. I think Frank would be better for men than Walter would be for her. And at least Frank is willing. Yeah, Walter with his um, very sexual thing. Yeah, I don't know. So, it seems like it's down to Sabrina and Tisa. Yes. Who do you think it's going to be for Tisa? Tisa's definitely going home. Tisa, yeah. I'm actually still shocked. I don't know why the hell she's still even on the show. I don't know how she even got this far. If I'm being really honest. Because you know, she does nobody really likes Tisa. She I seems feel really standoffish, you know. And sure it's not because of her weight, maybe she's Nobody's even talking. saying about it's about her weight or whatever. Yeah. You know, like I, I mean, a lot of people like plus size women. There's nothing wrong with that. It has absolutely nothing to do with her weight. It has everything to do with her personality. Mm -hmm. Personally. Yeah. She's just standoffish, even the first nights when everybody, she was about to go home. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked she made it this far. But you know, she was like, who the hell was the one who told me to go home or voted oh, me yes, off or whatever? This don't make no sense because I got yeah. eight numbers in my phone. Yeah. So, oh, oh, she's going to pull a Naya on us. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, since the then, chair. just since then, I just, I mean... It's just a turn off, and it has yeah. nothing. It has nothing to do with her weight. Like, honest to God, it's mm -hmm. really just her personality. Yeah. Zadia, also, I'm shocked she's still there. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was really weird that nobody introduced Aisha to their exes. That was so weird. Well, maybe. I don't well, know. I think maybe she's going to be the next one to go home. I think it'll be Tisa, Sabrina, and then it'll be Aisha. I feel bad that it's Aisha because she actually seems like she's done work or oh, whatever I and love, stuff. I love Aisha. Yeah, she's my favorite. Yeah, we love her. She's dope. Yeah. But, um, yeah, nobody in introduced them to her ex. So I guess nobody's really feeling her like that. Phil's yeah. definitely not into her. Um, there's nobody else who's into her. She was supposed to be deal with Frank, but I think that was just a sexual connection. Yeah. But really, it's nobody else that she's really connecting with. Yeah. You know, me personally, as a woman, I would not say go put yourself out there. I think maybe just bow gracefully. Because yeah. you shouldn't have to try to go make connections with men. If a man isn't making connection with you, uh, why put yourself out there? Yeah. To get embarrassed. Yeah. It's like just as yeah, bad really as a woman going for there was to someone a man. for Aisha. Yeah. Well, well, she's such a like you said. She looks like she has done the work. Yeah. Um, I'm happy that she had the opportunity to cry with Phil. Yeah. So that was really great. Yeah, but. You can't come out to Ready to Love and be serious. I'm sorry, yeah. but the show is not... T I'm sorry. It, it, we can yeah, already look at the track record. Look at Tisa. She's dressed real nicely. Yeah. I mean, even Mario and that yeah. woman that he um, made the whole bombshell thing. Oh, yeah. It's been, Reba. what, two, three years? Y'all still not engaged? Still yeah. have proposed to you? That man's not serious. Who else? It was Jason and Liz, not Sidious. Who else is together from Ready to Love up till today? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. So I can't say you call the show for looking for love. Most of the people aren't serious. Yeah. Right. So there's something about Sabrina's body language. 
time and giving me like standoffish vibes. So I'm a gracefully kind of navigate around that and rock the news from the deliberation. Slightly nervous. Do <laughs> you feel like? Well, I think the reason why it's not serious is because there's no like you know like on the Bachelor Bachelorette you know there's an engagement you have to ask those questions you have to be more intentional this is just boyfriend girlfriend stuff you can do this out at the club I mean you can meet somebody out at Home Depot there's quality men at Home Depot yeah why is he holding her hand it's so weird they're holding his hands very awkwardly no matter what our portion of this process is yeah. where we stand with one another I am highly looking forward to shrinking my uh, my connections to be super valuable and you know worth it right so um, the connection that you and I have is are you saying it's dead I haven't said anything yet I know uh, during this process, did they ever have a connection where I've called you and I've texted you and I didn't hear from you until like days later we <laughs> talked a lot lately a lot, enough we right talked, yeah, lately like, but that was because I reached out am I catching some I shade need, right now no it's not shade it's the truth and I just don't want Ooh, you to blow okay. smoke up my ass like I, I want you to keep baby. it like a hundred with me baby I was taking bullet cells before here it comes again I got Rambo on one side, Terminator on the other, and I'm constantly the one getting the cells. I'm just a messenger. Ooh. Is what you've seen so far enough? You are the real deal. You are what you see. And I feel that you have one of the biggest hearts. I'm the same person all the way around. Just as you mentioned, mm -hmm. you could fact check me with anybody. <laughs> I'm the same across the I board. I respect so. that. Yeah, you don't know how yeah. much I respect that. First of all, I Ooh, have always that's just a, been that's a that, that's 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 some day. Always. This week, it was women's time to get eliminated. Do you know I have not heard from no one? One oh. other man I talked to, and that was Walter. So I'm not going to keep putting myself through that. That's not fair to me. You're right. You know? You're right. So, Sabrina is a strong woman with strong opinions. She definitely was scared that she could possibly be eliminated. What? I'm just hoping that the heat turns off just a little bit. I do want to say that um, within deliberations, mm -hmm. um, your name came up. Though you are making connections with a good amount of these men, you say yourself that you are having a hard time finding. Men you know, have your an issue with taking the lead nowadays. It is actually and sad. I think <laughs> that some of that is swayed by some of the information you relayed that wasn't necessarily clear. You know, when we deliberated and Came down to it, <laughs> and like, like, I have called you. Things, you do not respond to me, so I have put myself out there for you guys. You this is why you don't text a man first. Okay. I wanted to be the one to tell you that because I, you know, I value you. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like what we talk about and our connection is genuine. <laughs> I don't have anything to, to say about that. You are the realest person here, and it's just how this process and this journey goes. Because being real don't make the cut. <laughs> it makes the cut. Trust me, it makes That's, the cut. I wouldn't do anything differently in this experience. So she cut her. To see it so T says one go home, you're right. Is the true authentic to see it, and anybody that knows me knows that. And I'm the happiest I've ever been. So I'm still ready to love, so please come get me. <laughs> come get me. So the gentleman myself. <laughs> so Brina's like. That we're giving you another chance for you to be able to find love. But in doing so, I do want you to know what's being discussed right now. I, I probably could have done more, but... Look how she fucked it up. Yes. That's your truth. Like, I'm feeling some type of way She right said, now. I probably could do more, but they weren't doing me. anything. I mean, some of them have been a little bit more consistent, but it's just to the point now where there's nothing more that I can do. You know, I, I'm not going to force anything. Ooh, I love so that outfit. It is what it is. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, bye, honey. By honey. Next time, on Ready to Love. <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this. This house is a big deal. This is supposed to be when people solidify a certain connection and make it very clear who they're going with. So this whole entire journey is only a line. Ooh. Is that Aisha? <laughs> uh, Dante and I have gotten even closer. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly trying to figure out like what's going on with you. I really think somebody's manipulating you. Don't be petty. Don't be petty. He's around Sabrina. Walter's like another person. I don't know what's going on with Walter. If somebody is put on the chopping block, they need to fight for them. I'm not so saying that. Sounds very but I'm saying, how is it hey, Ricky? 
I don't like Zadia, okay? I don't. But well, Aisha is yelling at I don't know what happened. Didn't come here to make friends. Where's your agenda? Uh-huh. Well, you know what the word is for today? To talk to her. The word for today is self-control. <laughs> Learn about it, boys and girls. Learn about it. It can be very beneficial to your life. You can't have people like were you so jumping out. up and you got two men having she to put you in the corner? Stuff about no, that men. is not true. Aren't you in your forties? I think she's in her thirties, late thirties. <laughs> I don't know. After twenty eight, you should know how to control your emotions. And really, that's late. Yeah, yeah. I would say twenty, twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. So well, that will be the word for next week. Self control. Control. Yes. Self control. Okay. Please don't get riled up because someone says something about you. Anyway, but we got Zadia right. is a mess. So Zadia we'll see. just we'll she's see. just catty, just like Camille. I know Camille got her one person. Thank God, let her handle. Let let Cornelius deal with that. Yes, but he like crazy women. There's some men that like that, like Stevie J. He like crazy women. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, yes. but hey, it looks like Cornelius really he enjoys. He likes that. See? Yes, but every time she gets jealous, he like grins, like he comes alive, like my woman jealous. She fight for <laughs> she me. She possessive. She let me know I'm how she feels. I'm her property. Yes. Woo! I think that <laughs> crazy maybe as it, <laughs> he might be crazy than her. He, he's like he's like a computer engineer or something. I know. So probably his life is kind of boring, and this just gives him the spark he needs to keep him smiling. So hey, but thank you for joining us. We oh wait, wait. Oh yo, I think we talked about everything. Yes. But yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, Cornelius. Um, I don't know if you want to marry her because you don't want her to be threatening to cut you, you know, if you go see one of your kids' teachers and she happens to be sexy. You, know, <laughs> you don't want there, her to no, go there are some you. women who, some men, look at that lady in Basketball Wives, Jackie. Jackie's crazy as Jackie hell. Jackie is but crazy. But her husband he loves love her. her. So, you know, there's some men, they love a little bit crazy. Some Listen, of them like a lot crazy. Jackie has a lot of great advice that I'll be taking into my own marriage, okay? <laughs> I will be taking that. But, but yeah. she's very possessive, okay? Yeah, but, you know, Douglas love her. He loves her, so. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It is Mephi. And Amma. And we will see you guys tomorrow. We got the reunion and we got family or fiance. Look forward to it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.